14 months after its initial release, the Surface Duo gets Android 11. Let's dig in. As I said in the intro, it's been 14 months since the Surface Duo came out. In that time, Microsoft has put out several small patches for bug issues and things of that nature, but they never put out the release of Android 11, which they had promised to do quite some time ago. That is up until this afternoon. At the time of this filming, I've had Android 11 on my Surface Duo for approximately four hours now. Um, and I've noticed quite a bit of changes. Let's go over some of them right now. Going over to Microsoft's website, you can see the change log that'll show you all of the new features that come with this device. The most important of which is the update to Android 11. Now, some of my favorite new features on the Surface Duo, you have the ability now to choose apps that will automatically span across both screens when you open them up. I have a handful of those set up, such as my Gmail, my calendars, OneNote, and these all work to varying degrees of success. I still consider it a win because I have Android 11 on here. Other things that I've noticed, there's an updated preference for answering the phone when it's folded. It'll give you the option to answer the phone by folding it open. Another neat thing is that you now can change the volume of any application right in the drop-down menu. So right there, you can just change the volume of anything, no matter where you are. And that's really handy. You've also got a refreshed news and weather widget, which will keep you more in line with uh, the Surface Duo 2, which is really, really nice. And the app drawer, and the app drawer has updated drag and drop features in it as well. My biggest issues with Android 10 on the Surface Duo was it was sometimes laggy and sometimes it would not switch screens properly, but I have not had this issue so far. As of yesterday, I started using this full time again, opting to pull the SIM card out of my Z Fold 2 and go back to this. And lo and behold, now we have Android 11. So I will have some further videos on this device as my experience with it grows. In the video's description, I'm going to link some websites you can go to to learn more about the update. I just, in my excitement, wanted to get this video out and share it with you guys. And I'm super excited to actually have Android 11 on this device. And now I'm going to go back to using it. So you guys have a great evening. I hope you liked watching this video as much as I have making it. If you have, feel free to give the video a like and share it with your friends. As always, I'm Bryant. This is Reviews for Nerds. Have a great day.